Welcome to another edition of Photo Enthusiastic. I'm your host, Jim Fair, recording this on the Nikon Z5, this time with the 24 to 70 f4 uh, S lens, the Z mount lens from Nikon that I got on eBay. You know, I just acquired uh, another lens. Where is it? Uh, very minty 20 millimeter f3.5 Nikkor AI lens uh, because I figure you know with this 1.7 crop in 4k I'm going to need a much more wide angle lens with the 1.7 it's going to be the equivalent of 34 millimeters focal length on full frame so uh, I'm prepared for that so this is what 24 millimeters times 1.7 looks like from about you know, six feet away, roughly, two meters. Uh, the correct social distancing distance. Should I wear my mask? No. I don't really like black masks because they look so grim, like the Black Death is here or something. Anyway, um, I just thought I would do a quick video about a topic uh, which I think a lot of people are getting wrong, and that is um, camera raw uncompressed versus camera raw compressed lossless so on the z5 or z5 if you prefer the uh, choices are compressed lossless raw 12 or 14 bit or compressed raw 12 or 14 bit that's obviously lossy right so you have a choice between lossy or lossless 12-bit or 14-bit. There's no choice called uncompressed raw. Why? Because finally a camera manufacturer has realized it's idiotic to have that setting. Why? Because lossless means you're not throwing any bits away. Let me repeat that again. You're not throwing away any data when you compress the file. So you're getting all the bits back that the image sensor captured. The wasps are here again. So, um, for those who insist on cameras that support it, on shooting uncompressed RAW, I'm saying, you know, you don't have to do that. You might as well shoot compressed RAW and save a little space on your cards and a little space in your buffer, more importantly, when you're shooting, you know, a fast burst. Because um, why? There's no difference. Uh, as Mr. Spock would say, a difference which makes no difference is no difference. So, if the file is identical when you pull it into the software to edit it, because we didn't throw any bits away, remember, nothing was thrown away, it's still full camera raw, uncompressed, once you read it in the software, right? So, again, nothing to lose, might as well use it. And here, finally, we have a camera that supports my position on this, which is that uncompressed RAW is uh, a foolish setting to even have in the camera because it doesn't make any sense. Only a user who doesn't know what uncompressed lossless means would fall for using that particular setting. Is there any advantage to using that setting? I can't think of one. The compression is so fast and so minuscule for that matter, you know, it's not compressing uh, the file hugely. So you may go from 30 megabytes uh, fully uncompressed raw to, you know, 26, 24, somewhere in there. It's not a huge percentage, but that's what you get when you don't want to lose anything, right? Compressed raw, on the other hand, you are losing something and how important that something is. It depends on the camera, the algorithm used, and, you know, I'm not the kind of pixel peeping person who needs to look at that closely. It's kind of annoying right now because Adobe software doesn't seem to support compressed lossless from the Z5 raw images. Uh, and I'm sure they'll fix that soon. But it's, it's annoying. So, you know, if I want something in raw and I'm going to edit it in Adobe, I have to shoot it in compressed raw and we're throwing some stuff away. Again, how important that is in the grand scheme of things, I don't know. But uh, just so you know, 
That's why there's no uncompressed raw setting, because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, processors on both cameras and computers now can do this compression decompression cycle when you're viewing an image when you're compressing an image after taking it and shooting it down to the SD card or cards so quickly that it doesn't slow down the the whole system right so you're not losing a thing by using compressed lossless raw and I happen to shoot 14 bits because I want to get everything that sensor captured because later on software will improve and you may be able to get more detail out of the shadows or better noise reduction. Who knows what advancements these things will make. I mean, supposedly the Z5 has a modified D750 sensor in it. Well, that's astonishing to me because as I was saying to in another video that, gosh, I think the D750 sensor is a little dated now and I, I wouldn't touch it. Maybe what I should have said, it's not the D750 sensor, it's the algorithms inside the camera that are supporting the sensor that are dated. So, because when I look at the output of the Z5, it's fantastic and the noise is hardly any more noticeable than it is on the Z6 until you're right up there at the, the high end of ISO where nobody in their right mind is going to shoot anyway. That's my take on that. Uh, compressed, lossless raw. You are not losing anything. <laughs> so, uh, as a computer guy, I understand this. And, you know, I, I get it. People aren't all computer experts. And, uh, but, you know, they, they use the word lossless for a reason. Because it means you're not losing anything. You know. So if you're not losing anything, you have nothing to lose by using that setting, right? Enough said. Anyway, thanks for watching. Fade out.